and welcome to the Aspen interview series on lipids and parental nutrition. My name is Jay Martello. I'm a clinical practice specialist for the American Society for Parental and Natural Nutrition. I'm a professor emeritus at the Ohio State University College of Pharmacy. It's really been a, thr a thrill for me to be able to meet some of the leading experts in nutrition and discuss this important topic with them. And remember, the topics we're going to be discussing today are the use of lipids in parental nutrition with a focus on omega-3 fatty acids. We're also going to uh, look in this series uh, related to use of lipids in a variety of different patient populations. And the topic we're going to look at today, we're going to also discuss cost effectiveness in the use of lipid, uh, parental lipid emulsions. And with that as a background, I'd like to introduce our expert today, Dr. Lorenzo Pradelli. He is the um, Scientific Director at ADRES Health Economics and Outcome Research in Torino, Italy. Welcome, Dr. Pradelli. I'm really looking forward to our discussion. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. Uh, yes, I'm Lorenzo Pradelli, uh, medical doctor by education, but I have dedicated my professional career to health outcomes evaluation and pharmacoeconomics. Well, that's interesting, a great introduction. I thought maybe we'd start first with you know, just describing or you know, telling us what does cost effectiveness means and how do you think uh, and why do you think cost effective analyses is becoming so much more and more important to uh, healthcare systems? Well, in simple words, uh, cost effectiveness is a, a metric of the value of the healthcare delivered. And uh, in this uh, sense, uh, it contrasts uh, the, the quality of the healthcare measured in terms of patient outcomes uh, against the costs that are needed to provide it. So it is becoming increasingly important because. Uh, there is uh, an increasing availability of uh, medical technologies uh, that, uh, that need to be funded. And the healthcare manager needs to have a rational basis uh, uh, on which to decide how to spend the money. And cost effectiveness is an objective measure to help the decisions. That's probably one of the best ways I've ever heard it described. And I really appreciate that. Uh, and uh, the other experts have alluded to your pharmacoeconomic analysis using cost effectiveness uh, on the use of uh, omega-3 fatty acids. Uh, so can you describe and summarize some of the results and findings you've had from that? Yes, well, we have dedicated some efforts uh, in the last years uh, to studying uh, the economic consequences and the clinical aspects of uh, parental nutrition. And we have started uh, with uh, synthesizing the clinical evidence by means of uh, meta-analysis. So our starting point is the clinical efficacy or effectiveness as measured in the, in the trials and synthesized by meta-analysis. Building on these results, uh, we have constructed uh, pharmacoeconomic models which try to integrate uh, the clinical data uh, from clinical trials uh, with uh, what happens in clinical practice, so outcomes uh, using standard parental nutrition and uh, the cost of healthcare specific for the different countries. So what we obtained from the meat analysis is a strong signal in an improved uh, clinical outcomes, especially in terms of uh, prevention of infections and reduction uh, of uh, uh, length of stay, which we consider as a proxy of uh, recovery, of uh, recovery. And alongside that, uh, we have noticed that, that uh, due to this uh, clinical, uh, positive clinical outcomes to this clinical effectiveness, uh, as a consequence, uh, hospitals are expected to spend less, actually, uh, if they introduce uh, omega-3 parental nutrition in the appropriate patients. So this is the bottom line, where, which is a very difficult outcome to, to see in pharmacoeconomics. We usually have to justify uh, increasing costs uh, due to, uh, for a better technology. Here we are in a very special situation in which we can uh, expect uh, better outcomes for our patients and less spending for the hospital, which is very particular. You know, it's really interesting because, you know, in, in our analysis, we oftentimes see people just looking at the product cost only, uh, but to also see that, you, again, you're looking most of the times with, let's say, new drugs coming to the market uh, of increased costs uh, and, and uh, justifying that because of better clinical outcomes or safer therapies. Um, exactly. So it's really interesting to see that you, you observed a decreased cost, overall cost, even uh, even though the product cost, you know, uh, might be more. And so I, I think that's a really good point 
for at least the people in the United States making decisions about these products now that they have them available, need to consider is it's not just a product cost comparison, but the overall uh, cost of uh, looking at the, the uh, outcomes you're going to achieve by using the product in clinical practice. Yes, this is uh, actually what uh, complete economics uh, analysis are about. And I think uh, these results fit very well with the uh, initiative by the Aspen Value uh, Project, uh, which I have uh, just recently read. I think it's uh, very much in line with, uh, with this project. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Do you have anything else to add before we conclude? No, I, I think uh, that we have touched the most important points. So the take home messages is uh, that if you do adequate nutrition to the right patients, you are able to improve uh, uh, the outcomes without increasing the cost for caring for our patients. Great. Thank you so much. If you want to have further information related to the use of lipids and parental nutrition, I refer you to the uh, supplement in the February issue of the JPEN in 2020. That can be found at the Aspen website at www.nutritioncare.org. And I'd also like you to, uh, if you haven't already participated in the other interviews in this, uh, in this series, please uh, take a look at them. I think you'll enjoy gaining that uh, ver varied perspective that we have from the experts that we're interviewing. Thank you so much. Goodbye.